sir, we won't the ball. And it's knocking heads and talking trash. It's slinging mud and dirt and grass. It's I've got your number, I've got your back. When your back's against the wall, you mess with one man, you've got a song. The boys are fall. Hi and welcome to week 8 of Charger Comet. My name is Kat Torres and I am joined here by head coach Keith Otterbein. Today we're going to talk about the game last week against Ashland and look ahead to the game against Tiffin on Saturday. Coach, thanks for being here. Nice to be here. Okay, so tell me what was the turnaround or what was like the turning point in the game against Ashland? Well, I just think they're a very good football team. Um, you know, as, as you go through the season, you get banged up and uh, the, I think they have a lot of weapons on offense. Got a really solid offensive line. I think you've got a running backs that run the ball really well, hard, and they've got a bunch of fast receivers. So, kind of wore us down as the game went on. Um, gave up too many big plays. Um, you know, we can't do that defensively. Combination of us not necessarily playing well or, or playing great assignment football, missing some tackles, and, and you know, they sprung a bunch of big plays on us. Um, put the ball over our head a little bit. So, you know, just a little frustrating on that side of it. Um, offensively, took some time to get going a little bit. Um, you know, did some some decent things, but again, we just collectively have to play better as a football team against a good football team that's, that's got the talent that they've got. Right. Going in, how do you prepare your team? Well, I mean, the, the ranking really is insignificant. I mean, you're going to play good football teams every week, and uh, teams that are well coached and well prepared. Uh, so you go about your business the same way. I mean, you've got a, a certain routine uh, and certain things that you've got to cover as you work through the week, whether it's offense, defense, special teams, and, and you just plot that out. And, and we only have a limited number of snaps every week, and you try to take the best advantage of as you can of the time that you're given uh, in order to prepare. So really the difference between one team and the next Week to week really doesn't change the schemes that you're looking at change, but the actual practice format really stays the same because you've got certain situations to cover. You've got to make sure you cover goal line. You've got to make sure you cover third downs. You've got to make sure you cover red zone. You've got to cover all the situations in the kicking game. So we just kind of have that schedule and have that routine and then have to plug in the different schemes that we're looking at from the opponent week to week. Okay, so using that consist consistency and that routine going forth towards Tiffin, um, they're ranked um, number eight with for passing offense, and then as well as um, in sacks, top in the conference. So, what are you going to do to focus on those different elements of that team? Got to protect the quarterback when we have football. So, they they have uh, shown throughout the year they're going to be a pressure defense. They play a lot of man to man, uh, do a lot of blitzing, get you into third and long situations, and then they can play a little more conservatively and let their front uh, pin their ears back and, and go get your quarterback. So we've got to put in a, uh, a game plan that uh, allows us to protect our quarterback, uh, yet gain enough yards to, to convert third downs. Uh, i got to keep the chains moving. Um, in terms of, of what they present as problems offensively, I think their quarterback's special. I think he's a big, strong kid. Um, and really the evolution of offensive football uh, has been they'll stretch the field horizontally by formation. They stretch it vertically because of skill and speed. And so there's a whole bunch of space that you have to take care of with your defense. And they isolate him and get him a lot of green grass in front of him. And, uh, and he's a really good athlete. So uh, he throws it well, and he's got skill uh, to be able to throw it or hand it off uh, to put pressure on you. So you really got to play good assignment football, but more than anything, you got to get off a blocks and make tackles. So it's also homecoming week this week. So what, as being an alum as well as a coach, what does this mean to you? Well, game preparation's the same. Uh, there are a few more bells and whistles and events going on, and, and we've got some of our football alums coming back to campus and, and hopefully have an opportunity to connect, connect with them. Uh, Friday evening, we've got a reception where hopefully we'll be able to see some of them and, uh, you know, then between pregame and, and postgame, you know, get a chance to say hello to some of our recent alums and some of the older guys that come back. Uh, 
you know, but our job as a football team and our job as football coaches is to coach the game, do well. Everybody enjoys homecoming a lot more when you win the football game. Certainly do. Thank you so much for your time, Coach, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this week's Charger Comment. We'll see you guys next week.